YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Knowledge here from Gamers Little Playground, and I'm joined here today by Javi. And we have two big things we want to talk about. And the first one, obviously, huge thank you. We finally hit 500k last week. Long time coming. Long time, long time coming. Seven years in the making. Seven years for you. Three yeah. years for me. me. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and we are gonna be. I'm hopefully. I'm I'm coming back full time, and we're gonna be trying to do podcasts again more frequently. Mm -hmm. We've done them five this year yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, like. yeah. Well, the, the second half we've done like none. two yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then hopefully we're gonna try to do live streaming again once we set up and everything because we i mean we don't have a spot yet to do that yeah so we wanted to take this commentary we just kind of wanted besides to give, thank you besides the thank you we wanted to give you just a kind of we wanted to reflect on how we got here mm -hmm. and just kind of give you a little bit of our stories of, yeah. of how the channel's been with us so yeah so now that hobby's coming back full time <laughs> exactly yeah gonna uh, tell you a little about you yeah know. so about three years ago now we had well I, I knew about the channel i had helped out we were we were doing the tournaments you know all that stuff that's how gamers little playground started so some of you might not know that story but we have it somewhere yeah yeah we we used to we used to do game tournaments that was mm -hmm. like we weren't even a channel i was, I was just trying to do game yeah. tournaments at first and then about three years ago mike was i mean the channel was starting to pick up and he came he asked me if i could help him yeah at the time i was going to school uh i had uh, i had a part-time job so it was something like of course i would like to play video games you know mm -hmm. but at the time i was like i don't know if i could do it but during that time as well my mom was sick and she was actually going through chemo and so she wasn't able to go to work and i mean at the time i wasn't making that much money on my part-time job i was getting paid minimum wage you know 20 hours a week about and even he asked me again you know like what do you think he's like you know what like i like youtube the way it works i know we're not gonna get money right away like i won't get money right away there's no there's no way there's no incentive for me to even consider it yeah because you know? i mean it takes so long to build up your library mm -hmm. just to get money and it's and, two months delayed anyway and it's two months delayed which is w what i found out from him yeah and you know 15k wasn't a small amount but like i had been on you i've been watching youtube for a while so i'm like that's not a huge amount either. <laughs> so take your 15k get the fuck out of here like <laughs> you know not like not like i didn't want to be like that but i was yeah. just like you know it's, i mean the opportunity like it's just it's not gonna work out yeah mike yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know at the time though i did want to like you, you saw the interest i wanted yeah to, I, of I, course of course you know but it was just like you know like yeah, it's gonna be playing video games, which I love and I do anyways. But like, it's not, it's not gonna be worth it for me. Yeah. And I mean, luckily, I mean, he can go into it. But luckily, I ended up working out. We ended up working out a deal for the beginning. And while I only worked part time for about that half a year, I mean, the channel more than doubled. It, yeah, it did. I mean, we went from fifteen to thirty, zero to like, hundred in like, like two months. Yeah, it was. And fast. then, and then by the end of the year, we were already like at 40, 50 k. Yeah, it was, it was, that was our year. Because I think I was still working full time when you got the play button. I'm not sure if you were, but yeah, I, he, he, he was working full time that summer when he first came on. And, and most of the fall. Most of the fall. And then in, in spring, I went back to school. He went back to school. He, he decided he wanted to try school. Yeah, again. my mom was getting better and she, she kind of like, she didn't like the fact that I was playing video games all which the time. Which is which is understandable. Yeah. I mean, like you don't you can't blame her. It's like how do you explain it to a parent? It's just like, yeah, I have this opportunity to play video games and make money. It's like mm -hmm. get the fuck out of here and go go to school and get yeah. a real job, you know? I mean now she sees it a little bit differently, but uh I mean none of this would have been possible either if Mike didn't get any help. Yeah, so I mean for me, I mean, we've done a history of our channel before, but I haven't yeah, I don't think I've ever said that my mom was sick. Yeah, no, and I, and you definitely haven't. And I've never delved into like just the personal side of, you know, like I, I he took a big risk on coming on. I took a big risk of kind of continuing the channel just because mm -hmm. I had moved to Oakland, I think back in 2011. Mm -hmm. And he was and a substitute teacher at the time, working with kids, doing yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, well, in Oakland, I was a, a after school program. Oh. Yeah, I was working at an after school program as a coordinator. And I kind of, I went back to Oakland just 
for the rest of my life, I thought I was going to just be there and get married and You were trying to it. do the whole, like, I'm an adult, I'm going to move on my own. Yeah, kind of I was just moving on my own and just, you know, just moving on with my life. But then uh, it didn't work out in Oakland like I wanted it to. And at the same time, the channel was taking off. Yeah, Halo. And yeah, Halo 4. Yeah, Halo 4 video was taking off and I was actually making money through the video so i was in my head i'm like you know what and i had been doing youtube maybe before that for like yeah for like a year if you're a real old school subscriber you remember the montage yeah i used because that's what Ooh, i used to <laughs> i love you so <laughs> i used to i used to I, uh, I used to edit uh call of duty and halo M montages M200. yeah m200 was our, our our clan my cousin uh would run the clan but anyways that's what i was doing just kind of on a part-time I was still working and then just doing montages on my spare time. And I kind of just gave it up. You know, I got partnered by Machinima. I had like 1,500 subs. I got partnered by Machinima. And then now to me, that was kind of just the end goal. I was like, I just wanted to prove that I could do it. Especially back then, like Machinima was the, the network. Like everybody wanted to be part of Machinima. And, and then after that, I just kind of gave it up. I even gave the channel away. I gave it to a fellow editor, a friend, and I was just like, yeah, I'm done with this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm leaving. And then this video started taking off, and my friend also quit YouTube, and he's like, you know what? Just take the channel back because I'm not... not like that for him either. Yeah, he's like, I'm not going to do anything with it. He gave me the channel back, and I decided just to do it, to take the risk. But part of taking that risk was I... You didn't make I didn't make enough money on YouTube to live on my own. Yeah, so you couldn't be in Oakland anymore. No. And I always will thank my sister, my older sister Jessica, my brother in law Enrique, because they believed in me mm -hmm. so much that they they allowed me to live here rent free for a whole year. And just because they believed in the channel, they believed in what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And Thank you to you guys. I love you guys so much. Like, it would never, ever have happened without their help. They also then, they ended up investing in the channel. Like, I made, I gave them yeah. a presentation and I so said... This was, and this was around the time where I started being in talks. Yeah, yeah, working. yeah. Because it, it was at the point where it was getting too big just for me. And then like, the people you had, like, you said you had friends helping you, but they weren't, like... They weren't, like, a full-time yeah. thing. And so my plan was, okay, I'm a... I'm going to ask my sister and my brother-in-law for some money to invest. I'm going to give them a percentage of the channel. Mm -hmm. And with that money, what I did is I built a second computer. That way, Junior could fucking record. Javi could record and edit. And, and, edit, 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 and edit. Not and, that many in the beginning. But still, like it, it was a big help. And then I also used part of the money so I could pay Junior because he wasn't going to make any money in the beginning anyway At and all. that was the only way I could entice him. Yeah, and you know? also that was the that was the best way at the time to entice uh my uncle who's his brother-in-law. Yeah. Because, you know, they were like you can't do this on your own. I mean, you have to get someone else. Yeah, yeah, you it's, know, it's, it's too, it's too obviously much work. they didn't they didn't they weren't sure like anyone else mm. like you're the, the other people that were working like you said they weren't working full time and they had their own stuff to go in. Yeah. So they're like you need someone that can be can do it and yeah. then and junior is the the quintessential gamer i mean he, he loves <laughs> i mean we all love games but junior yeah. loves games <laughs> like he loves games yeah. so th that part of the journey i think that's a big moment in the channel because from then we went from like 15 to 30k we doubled in size within the first two within months. like two months i mean and, and it was just such a big difference because before then i was posting one or two game movies a week maybe like a commentary or something mm -hmm. but after that we, we made it a mandate and we said like oh, we're gonna post every single day whether it's an edit whether it's a trailer whether it's a game movie that commentary first E3. This, yeah e3 yeah. all that stuff and then and, and then uh after the two months we saw it was going good so we just that's when we started doing commentary uh not commentary podcast podcasts. uh we we picked up the live stream for a little while uh, that was way after though, but that was way after but still it was all part of the line that was started then like that mm -hmm. And I think that's that's kind of like the, the The first watershed moment for the channel for us was when I decided to come full-time I think the second moment was when junior came on because now the third well the, the third moment was Mariano too Yeah, the third moment was when my cousin because uh, the thing is junior left so junior decided to go back to school Yeah, so his my mom had gotten better. She was uh, she was still going she was was she going to chemo? I don't think she was going to chemo anymore, but 
she was still going to the, the doctors for some, some some of the medicine you're supposed to take after chemo. Yeah. And she really wanted me to go back to school. At the time, I was pretty much, I don't know what I want to do with school, but yeah. I figured for the, you know, for her, I was going to do it. And I, I mean, it didn't end up working out, but, you know, I was st- I still had my job. I still was helping him and I still had my job uh, that I recently quit. I still had that. So um, now, you know, I quit that job and here I am now. So, I mean, what I would say to Junior and to anybody is that you you should always take the risk. I mean, like, I mean, unless you have a family and like you you, you got to provide for your family, then that's a whole different yeah. thing. But I mean, we're lucky enough to be young and and, and not have reckless, any, <laughs> not have any responsibility where yeah. we're we're tied down. Yeah. So I mean, it's one of those things where it's as long as you understand the risk that you're taking, then you should do it because. But what's gonna happen three that's what I said to myself then was like if I don't take this risk what's gonna happen three or four years from now I'm gonna be at the same job that I have now unhappy um, and if it all falls apart if the channel fails if it gets shut down then I'll just go back to the job yeah you know what I mean and, and, and like it's I, gonna I li- be rough transition yeah but, but at least I'll, I'll live the rest of my life saying like hey at least I tried yeah. You know, and, and you did successful, and especially. Yeah. I mean, just the 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 hundred thousand play button we have. Yeah, you know I'm, that's enough already. But that was we're amazing. at five hundred thousand. We're still going strong. You know, once we get that million, maybe he'll let me have the silver one. <laughs> silver one. Well, man, I'll give you the the one for GOP TV when we get the, <laughs> for the second channel. Yeah. If we get that to hundred K. Yeah. Because so, you've been a big part of that. Like <laughs> you you carried that for <laughs> for a year. Uh, so, but yeah, so I mean, obviously we're extremely grateful for the s- people that, all of you that keep commenting, you know, we love the comments. Yeah. We hate uh, some of the comments. We but, hate some of the comments. <laughs> but we read them anyways, yeah. you know, take it to heart for the most part. And obviously, yeah. b- like, like you said, biggest thanks to Justin Henry. Yeah. You guys made it happen. Um, You're the second ingredient in in the big ingredient. I mean, really, yeah. I mean, like, there's so many important people. Like, the my cousin Mariana, like he, me and him are basically like fifty fifty partners now on the channel, and I love him. And and it it wouldn't have it would he pushed it even further because he has so many fresh ideas and he has such a strong work work ethic that Mm -hmm. it, it it pushed it even further than we had already pushed it. So, I mean, everybody's played a big part. Thank you to Junior, because without Junior, I, I don't know, we would we'll probably still be at like 100K. Like I, you I might have gone back to your job by then. Yeah, it might, might have been too hard. I mean, it was getting rough trying to keep up because there's so many com- comp- there's so much competition that, that it's, it's hard to keep up, you know? Mm-hmm. So anyways, guys, thank you to you guys. 500K is a big number for us. And we we don't take it obviously it's the biggest number we've gotten. <laughs> yeah, and, and we don't take it for granted. <laughs> we don't take it for granted at all. Yeah. Um, we appreciate everything you guys do uh, guys do for us. Really. Yes. So, we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, the next podcast or live stream. That's the next time. And they're on their way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Peace.